Hey guys, hi! Darlene here, thank you so much for coming back. On today's video I'm going to be showing you my go-to looks for my hair. I personally like to have very effortless, easy hairstyles. Um, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you like this video, and yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for this first hairstyle, I'm going to be doing two twists with all the hair from the front. It doesn't really matter if you make it tight or loose as long as you get all the hair from the front. Then I'm going to take those two twists I made in the front and I'm just going to secure them in the back with an elastic. Again, you can just pull them or make it as tight as you want. Then I'm going to take a chunk of hair, including the hair from the twist, and I'm pretty much going to do a braid. You can do it as long as or as short as you want, and in this case I went with a fishtail braid. It's very simple, very easy. Once you get that done, then you're going to be massaging your braid. Again, you can do a fishtail braid or you can do a three-strand braid, whichever you like. Again, massage your braid so it looks a lot more fluffy and more effortless looking, and this is the final result. It's beautiful, it's whimsical, it's romantic, and super easy to do. For this second hairstyle, we're going to start off with a section of hair, and we're going to split it into three. With these three pieces of hair, we're going to start off doing a Dutch braid. A Dutch braid is a three-strand braid, but the only thing is that you're going to be adding hair every time you cross a section of hair, and also you're going to be crossing the sections of hair underneath every single time. With this Dutch braid, you're going to make sure that you don't go too, too low with the um, pieces of hair that you're going to select. That way it stays at least one or two inches above your ear. And once you get all the way to the back, then you're just going to finish off the braid without adding any more hair. Again, you can make this braid as loose or as tight as you want. I started pulling off mine right here as you can see, but I didn't go um, too too crazy with it. It still looks chunky, it still looks fluffy, but it doesn't look too too huge. I wasn't going for that, but that's just a matter of personal preference. If you have really straight hair, you can always use some texturizing spray, maybe some dry shampoo. That way it gives you more volume. And pretty much um, once you reach the end, just secure with an elastic. We're going to be doing the same thing with the other side. Again, take a piece of hair, divide it into three, and start your Dutch braid. Selecting hair, there's always a side that, that, at least for me, is a little more difficult. Like this side, to me, was a lot more harder to do. But just with a little practice, it turns out pretty well. And it's actually very simple to do once you practice, like, like I just said. But again, once you get to the back, just finish up your braid normally. Start pulling. I will suggest start pulling at least when you're halfway through because you make if you make the braid all the way to the to the um, to the end. Sorry, it's a lot harder to pull it off. But if you just stop in the middle and then pull it pull it apart, apart or massage it and then finish off the braid, then it's a lot easier. Again, you're just gonna secure it, pull it as much as you want. As you can see here, I'm massaging the braid. You can also do that instead of pulling it. It helps a lot to make the braid look a lot more fluffy and it looks a lot prettier. Once you get your two braids, you're just gonna pretty much going to do a ponytail with all the hair you have left in the back. Again, take all your hair, put it um, in a nice tight ponytail, and then take the two braids and you're gonna cross them. One of them is going to go all the way around your ponytail and the other one is pretty much going to lay on top of your ponytail. Secure it with a bobby pin and this is the final result. It looks very pretty. I love the, the bohemian feel to it. It's very effortless yet it looks a lot more intricate. intricate. There we go. <laughs> it looks a lot more intricate than what it actually is. And it is just, it's, it's that type of hairstyle that you can either dress up or dress down. I absolutely love it and it's one of my favorites. Third tutorial is pretty much a twist on that second look that we did. I'm going to take all of the hair from the back and I'm just going to start doing a three strand braid. Including the braid that we already had. Once you reach all the way to the back, then I'm just going to start off massaging and pulling my braid. Unlike the first two braids on the top, I went pretty chunky with this one because I wanted that contrast between the more tight braids on the top and the more loose braid on the bottom. Again, secure your hair with an elastic and it looks just absolutely beautiful and it is so simple to do. Look how pretty that looks. I love it. 
So for the very last look, this is my go-to hair and everyone just asked me how I do it. Start off with a very sleek ponytail and you're just gonna wrap your hair around to make a bun. But the trick is, don't make it tight at all. Just make it very loose, secure it with some bobby pins and once you get it secured, as secure as you want, you can always use some hairspray too. But in this case, my hair was very textured so I didn't need it. Just give it some shape with your own hands and that's it. It looks fabulous, it looks so well put together, yet it's so simple to do, and voila, my friends. Well, that was everything for today, guys. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is going to be right here, like always. Stay safe, my friend. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I send you love, kisses, and hugs, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Gitu. <laughs>